Isn't this a beautiful sold map? This is the houses that Remax Town & Country sold in 2019 or buyer sales or listings that sold. And Stephanie Barker asked me a question uh, this morning and that was, where are the instructions and how to make this map? <laughs> well, I don't have any instructions how to make this map, so I thought I'd do a quick video. First thing you wanna do is log into your MLS, right? And set your search parameters for whatever listings it is that you wanna show in the map. And so I'm just doing a sample. So once you've got the results, right? You're gonna click results. From here, if you have more, if there's more than what's on this first page, you wanna just select all. And once you select all, you wanna do an export. So you're gonna export, you're gonna to go to address only, and you may have to set up that search within MLS. I've set mine up already. And now I'm gonna do export. And you see down here, I'm getting a CSV file. So I'm gonna open that file, and it just shows the address only of the properties I'm looking to post on a map. I'm gonna save as, I'm gonna say address only test for Remax, right? So I'm gonna put it on my desktop, right there next to my solds, say save, and then I'm gonna say yes, and then when I hang this up, it's gonna say save, you don't have to because you already saved it. So say don't save. So now you wanna go into Google Maps. And let me just take you from the beginning, when you go into Google Maps, um, let me see right back to the very beginning of Google Maps. Hold on one second, I'll start all over. So you wanna go into, you're just in Google, just do maps. Uh, so Google Maps right there. And then once you've got into Google Maps, click this little hamburger. Okay, so now you see a bunch of different options here and we can go into your places. So click your places. From your places, you can go into maps. And now you see, I just did one this morning, a test before I did the recording. Now I'm gonna to go to the bottom and do create map. Once I click on create map, you see there's an import right here. So I wanna import and I go find the list that I just saved to my computer, which was saved on the desktop. Desktop, there's the test. Okay, I wanna click both these because I wanna, this is where I'm gonna find out where this property is on the map. Say continue, I'll log it as an address, say finish. That layer is there. So you can see they're all there, just a few houses that I put in there. And so now, if you wanna change the icon, you can just right click it, or not right click, left click, excuse me, then get this little tiny style one right there, left click it, and you can make it a house. And all of them are now houses. Or you can do, you know, martini glasses, whatever it is. Are they bars or are they houses that you sold, right? So then let's say I wanna add another layer to this. I can say add layer. And then I'm gonna import another list and you just go to your computer to another saved list. Maybe the first time you did all the listings that you sold, the second time you did all the buyer sales. So I'm gonna click my listing sold, do the same thing, address, finish, and the second layer gets loaded in there, right there. So now you see the second layer, which there's a lot more houses because I pulled up all of Remax Country's things. So you can see there's little houses and then there's the little drop box. So if I want to change these drops to something different, I can go more icons and I can come to the bottom and do custom. Right here, I can do custom icon. I can grab an image from my computer. And guess what? I really like, you're probably not gonna believe this, but I really like the Remax balloon. <laughs> and I'm putting the Remax balloon that's a cutout. It's a, it's a PNG file. So only the balloon shows up and not a picture of the, the square. So there's the balloon. I highlight it and click OK. And now all those you see are houses and or balloons. So there they are there. 
And so I could just click out here and get it away. Now, if I want to turn all these houses into balloons as well, I can. Uh, you can do two different kinds. You can do three layers, four layers. So let's take these and change them into balloons. Now they're all balloons. Done. And so this is my sold map or whatever it is that you want to do, right? And so once you get it to the position, scrolling my, scrolling my uh, mouse, once I get it to the position that I want, I'm going to, I wish I could close this down. But anyways, hey, let's say you want to save this real quick. I'm just going to click on here. I'm going to say list and sold map. Ah, I'm in a hurry. Got a dentist appointment at 7 for, uh, for 2019. And then you can put a description there if you want one. But now it's going to save right here. And then, um, so now if I want to take this map and use this as my map to do, I'm just going to do a print screen. And then I'm going to open up Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm going to, okay, get out of there. Oh, I got my Camtasia presentation in there. So let's go to something new. Blank presentation. Okay, now I'm going to paste my print screen. I'm going to hit format, crop. I'm going to crop that out. I'm going to get it down to the size that I want it. You make it any size you want. Crop. You can make this a 6x9 postcard. You can make it pretty much anything that you want. So then now on this card, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say sold map and make it look just like this one that was right here when we started. So that's just typing text inside PowerPoint. And then I'm gonna save it as a JPEG, which is a picture. So I hope that helped you guys. Uh, just go back through and follow those instructions and you should be good to go. Have a great day and remember, you're great where you are, you're just too darn good to stay there. Okay, I knew you thought this video was over, but I want to show you, in case you don't want to go through the whole process of making this map, I'm going to show you where it's at. Just go into Back Agent, go Documents, and once you're in Documents, go to Marketing. So let me back this out to show you exactly what I mean. So there's Documents, then you're going to go Marketing and Logos, you're going to click Home Sold in 2019 Graphic, and here's the map right here. Now if you want to customize this, you can click on the PowerPoint right here and okay get off of here my Camtasia is connected you can change this to whatever it is you want to change it see it's completely customizable um, so anyways this is the actual map so to get to that map that is exactly how you do it make sure excuse me while you're in there you just do this you just open it up and then just save it to your desktop or computer thanks guys talk to you soon bye bye